r slash credit. What's something that's happened to you, but sounds too crazy to believe? I saw a green asteroid descend from the clouds. It was crumbling into smaller pieces. Lost sight of it due to a tree line. Cold being that it was full of a certain metal that burns green. I think it might be copper that makes green. I was 10 years old on vacation in another country, without my mom. Important to note, when a woman came up to me and asked, Excuse me, but are you American? I said I was. She asked, Are you from state? I said I was. She then asked, Are you from, extremely small rural town? I again said yes. She asked, Are you by any chance related to, my mom's name? I said, Yes she's my mom. The woman said, I went to school with your mom. She was my best friend, and we lost touch after graduation. You look exactly like she did as a child. I still marvel over this to this day. My sister once ran into an old friend at Disney World. Not only were they vacationing at the same time, and had no idea, but they somehow managed to be in the same exact spot at the same time, somewhere in Fantasyland I think. When I was tiny, less than a year old, a woman snuck into our house in Chicago. She sorted stuff in the basement into piles to steal, snuck upstairs and took me from my crib into the basement with her. My dad saw the busted basement window from the backyard, went downstairs and chased her out of the house. She was a known addict and prostitute in the neighborhood, my dad grew up there, and she was his age, so they sort of knew each other. My parents think she was going to steal me and or sell me. Two weeks later my dad gets held up at gunpoint on his garbage route in a tough neighborhood and has his wallet taken. He was incredibly pissed because who sticks up a garbage ma an asterisk. We moved to Michigan less than a month after that. I saved a guy from being eaten by a croc. Camping with mates at a waterhole in the Northern Territory. We had all been drinking and I wandered over to the bushes near the water to take a piss. I see a guy a little further down from me pissing into the water. I think, what a cunt, when I finish I'll go tell him, that was a dick move. I hear him scream, look over and see, that a croc has grabbed him leg, s. I run over yelling random shit hoping to scare the croc, I get there, and grab the guy. I'm trying to pull the guy up the bank, realize that is never going to happen. But just then the croc opens its mouth, dunno why, maybe to get a better grip, and the guy and I fall backwards, I kept trying to pull him up the bank, the croc just opens its mouth, then slides back into the water, lucky as fuck. Just last summer two badgers attacked me. Couple years ago I was attacked by a 50 pounds. Raccoon. 50 pound raccoon. Where were you? The capital wasteland. I was on a Greyhound bus from Oklahoma City to St. Louis, and after we'd been on the interstate for a while the bus started going way faster than it should, and then slowing down too much over and over. Then the bus got pulled over by not one or two, but three state police cars. I was about three quarters of the way back, but I could see the police get on the bus with guns drawn. After 10 or 15 minutes they dragged a guy who was not the driver out of the bus, Turned out that a man had been behind the driver with a very short shotgun, and was trying to hijack the bus. Once they had him out they came into the bus with guns out again, and searched three whole bus, to make sure he didn't have an accomplice. The whole thing was so surreal. It happened in 02 or 01, I've actually forgotten the date. I got trapped in my bunk bed. I used to sleep in a room with my sisters, so I had a curtain tucked into the top bunk for privacy, I slept on the bottom, and one night I woke up, and couldn't get out. There was a wall, my curtains were still there, the wall was behind the curtains and basically that lasted a little, while I don't know how long I was panicking and crying for a lot of it. Eventually I thought to ask one of my sisters to turn on the light, I asked the one on the top bunk, but my other sister by the bathroom turned on the light and the whole room like rotated in my hand which had been resting against the wall that was trapping me instantly landed on my blinds on the opposite side where there was really a wall i wrote a way more in-depth comment the other day on some other r slash credit post but yeah there was a wall on one side of my bunk 
where there were two windows, one by my head and the other slightly past the foot of the bunk. But I know I wasn't touching that wall I was wide awake by the time I thought to ask my sisters for help, and had been pushing against the wall all up and down the bunk. And the rotating was so odd the sensation was just really strange. I don't really know how to describe it, but yeah it was weird. My girlfriend, ex from college days, tried to stab me. And that's not how the whole story goes. She had severe mental health problems, flipped, came at me with a knife. Now, today I have years and years of hand-to-hand -hand combat training, but then I didn't. However, somehow I managed to grab her, not get stabbed which is a fucking miracle if you know anything about close combat fighting, and hurl her over her couch. Her response was to grab a glass vase, not throw it at me, but for some reason smash it on the ground, and then charge me again. Oh this is gonna get way more down the rabbit hole than this. I fought her off, gently cause I didn't want to hurt her, and she ran out of her apartment. Here's the issue. I didn't know how to snap her out of her state. So I called her sister. Who hated me. Bad first experience. Nothing crazy. I spilled nacho cheese on her shoes at the movie theater first time I met her. But she hated me so much that, when I called her from her sisters, my GFs, phone that the only way I could convince her to help me was to say I know your dad fucked you, please help me. I had to bring incest straight into the game to get someone to come help me talk someone else into going to the hospital for the help she needed. My GF confided in me that both of them had been raped by their father and I could not think of another way to stop her from hanging up on me. End result, we found her wandering around the apartment complex, brought her home, took her to bed. I had to throw out one of my favorite shirts, because she had gone all Wolverine on me and it literally had four finger claw marks going down it. Edit, god I wish this was made up. I hadn't thought about this in a while, and it makes me sick. One time I was a passenger in my cousin's car, we were going to his house to collect his wallet, and passed two people on the road, a man and woman holding hands, as we drove past I turned round to look at them, uh, as soon as I did the man just landed a massive punch to the woman's face, we went into his house, 30 seconds down the road, told his mum and dad. They got dressed, it was early in the morning, and my cousin and I went straight back towards the man and woman. When we got to them the woman's face was cut and bruised to bits, I got out to them, and the man started running away, so we both chased him, but my cousin heard his engine rev up, and turned round and the girl was trying to drive away in his car, not knowing this I was still chasing the man. He jumped over a hedge into a field and I followed, he then turned at me, in my head was, if he can punch a girl then has no problem going at me, so I took the first swing. Landed and he dropped, and like any bully slash woman beater he didn't have the balls to fight back, a woman pulled up in a car crying her eyes out, she had saw it happening, and couldn't do anything about it, apart from phone the police, but being in the countryside. It took a while for them to get to us. When the police arrived they took the fella, and then me, and my cousin left with my aunt and uncle talking to the police, we found out after, that the girl started saying it was me, and my cousin who beat her and her fella done nothing. I just couldn't believe that this happens, and the man will probably get away with it, and she will take him back straight away. Sat, what a way to live. Deleted. How does a cornea transplant looks like? Do you have post-op pictures? Congrats on the car. Ma'am, sir, you may be in my seat, 35B. Confused, we both hand our tickets to the flight attendant. Flight attendant, which one of you is, my first name, my lane? Both at same time, I am. Two people with the same first and last name booked on the same seat on the same flight to the same place. United made room. This was in 2014. True story. I used to work in a hotel, where a guest lost his bag. I got his details, and tracked Mr. James Brown's, wasn't his name. Can't actually remember it, but we'll use it for this story. Bad to arrive at our hotel in a couple days after a complete balls up, and they put the bag on the wrong plane heading to another country. Two days pass, and we take a bag in. I call Mr. Brown to the desk, and upon his arrival, explains the bag we have isn't his. 
it didn't match the description, other than it being black, and he didn't know the lock combination. Looking at the name tag, it belonged to a James Brown, and luckily it had a contact number on it. I called the number and spoke to another James Brown. I explained the situation to him, and he cut me off, to say he was literally in the same situation, and was given another case which wasn't his, but had his name on. Long story short, both James Browns were on the same flight from the United States to Amsterdam, and both James Browns had their bags go missing. Problem was, our James was in Glasgow, and the other one was in Rome. Our James never got his bag back in the time he stayed with us, but I'm hopeful the money he spent on new clothes and items was reimbursed by the airline or airport or something. Smash the like button to get a surprise.